What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Brew Chatter TV. <laughs> so this is a, a really fun and funny question kind of thing that we get in the store, so we figured we'd do a video about it. Yes. Um, we have people asking what the pouch inside of a, a Y yeast packet is, and then we also get people asking how to break it. So we're, we're, we're going to show you the proper way to bust the pouch. <laughs> Did you get the hammer? That's not the proper way. Oh. That's the wrong way. Oh. Is that C? I do it with Need a hammer, for the so yeah, it's, it's a good thing we're doing this video. Why yeast thing is that it comes with a little activator pouch. Yes. Um, what that is is 15 milliliters of wort at 1.015 according to Why yeast. Uh, the idea behind that is... It has that much in there? 15 mils? Oh, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, no. keep going. Sorry. I'm just I'm just a talent. I'm here to bust it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Damon. <laughs> so, uh, what in, in theory or, or not in theory? What what that does, according to Y yeast, is it, it activates the yeast and puts them at the right split cycle or replication cycle. So when it goes into your beer, they're already rocking and rolling, ready to go. So yeah. and also I think part of it it may you. I may just be seeing this differently than you, but when you set this out on the counter, like they say, to warm it up, it, it allows the yeast not to starve as it's warming up. Right. Uh, the idea... They or, can metabolize. Yeah. What happens is they, they put these guys to sleep and they have tons of glycogen reserves. So they use those to wake back up and start eating, and that's part of why they feed them just a little bit. It's not uh, it, it's not a starter. So. What? It, it's not a starter. It's what? <laughs> also something. Also a question that we get a lot. So I thought we'd touch on it. it. It's not quite a starter. All it is is a little bit of extra food, so that as they're eating those glycogen reserves and waking up and starting to replicate or preparing to replicate, they have a little bit of food. It's like a I don't know an energy bar. Yeah, <laughs> and that's. A, <laughs> I get that blank stare. What? What's happening? What is he? <laughs> Uh, Josh has all these really good marathon analogies for yeast and, and what yeast do during fermentation, so I was stealing from that. Oh, um, well, that's like Go Firm. I call Go Firm the power bar. And then uh, Fermade K is like the Gatorade during the race. Yeah. It's and, like the power bar gets you going, you know, but as you're running, you do the, like, the drink stations, like Gatorade, you keep going, you know. Yep. Got to gotta replenish those vitamins in that, that liquid. Yeah, because yeast get tired, too. Yeah, and it's, it's a really good analogy. Um, so, but... And another thing that we've experienced, um, and Imperial has done a lot of really good research, and we found that pitching cold is a really great way to do it no matter what lab you're doing. All the breweries um, are doing it. All the breweries are doing it. it <laughs> the, the theory behind that is it preserves the glycogen reserves that they use when they wake up, and it, they, when they go right into the wart, the temperature differentiation supposedly is not as big of a deal as we originally thought. So you can do it however you want. Um, we always recommend, at least for your first couple brews, following the, the recommendations of the lab of the yeast you're using. So if you're using Imperial Pitch Cold, if you're using White Labs or Y yeast, let it warm up. Um, that being said, just experience and, and brewing a lot, we've found that we like to pitch everything cold. So, yeah, it's like I'll rack off of something I just fermented and pitch right on top of it. I mean, if it's a similar beer style. Yeah, it's and, like, and, and that's cold. straight out of the crash chair. Yeah, so it's still cold, and I just pitch right on top of it. Yeah. You start to warm, you know, from the wort, and then because the wort's not like scorching hot, but it's like within temperature range. Seventy or so. It starts fermenting. Yeah. But anyway, the whole purpose of this video is to show people how to break the pouch. We're like getting into like science and like the yeast book, like Jamil Zeta Chef and Chris White and all there. That's if if you want to learn more about yeast, read that book because there is a ton of insane good information and science if you really want to nerd out. This is going to be like a seven minute video. I'm about. sorry I nerded out. I just, I, there's things that the people need to know. They're going to like fast forward. It's like, dude, if you just want to see him break the pouch, just go to like four minutes and 80 or eight. <laughs> four minutes and 80 seconds. <laughs> no, yeah, just head right to 480. It's going to happen. All right. No, I'm, sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done with science. No. There's nothing else you want to say. No. So... So, when you get your Y's pack, you're going to fill around in here, and you're going to fill a little pouch bouncing around in there. This one is slightly expanded. Y says that's nothing to worry about, you know, because they off-gas a little bit after repackaging, or they've tried to explain this a few different ways to me. Quick note to that. Um, 
it depends on the strain. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to say it. I was it, getting but... excited, but I'll wait. All right, just... Okay, so put strain book, dependent. Put a bookmark right right there. Uh, it's strain dependent. Uh, you'll find 1056, 1098. A lot of those guys will show up to your yeast purveyor just a little bit blown up, changes in elevation. They off-gas a little bit. Uh, like we said, we've talked to Y-Yeast about it uh, quite a few times, and it's, it's not a big deal. They, yeah, it's not huge. Yeah. So, back to my uh, busting of the packet. So, you'll find it in there and you can feel it. You can squeeze it. You're like, oh yeah, it's almost right there. You know, you want to break it. But, I'm not going to jump right into it just yet. You got to warm her up a little bit. <laughs> but, that didn't, that came out wrong. <laughs> no, that came out just right. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. You don't set it on the table and be like, oh my gosh, I don't want it to like squirt out the other end. And I was like, ah. And then you never break it. And then like, and then I've seen some people like, Oh, it's so hard to break. It's like it just keeps running away from me. You know, I can't catch it in this really small pouch. <laughs> you know, then there's that. And then there's the other guy that's like, eh. <laughs> tries to break it and it doesn't break. Yeah, and I'm like sitting here watching this guy. He's like, what are you doing? So it's like, this thing is a, a good foil pack. Probably Mylar. It's pretty strong. Yeah, it's, you know? it's like four or five mil yeah. Mylar. It's, and, there's guys like, well, I don't know. It's like, how hard do you really hit it? It's like, you put it in your hand, and you, like, put it right there like that, and you just get sort of warmed up, you know, you, you know, depending how you are, you know, you say a little prayer for it or whatever, you know, and then you just sit there and just, oh, my gosh, just broke it. That's all it takes. That's all it is. Once you break it, massage it. Massage it. Uh, what you're doing is you're getting all of that solution and all of those yeast, depending on the strain, especially if it's a high flocculating strain like 1968, you're getting all of that in solution and making sure everything's mixed together. I was just seeing what strain that was because now <laughs> I got a brief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're firing up the pots here. Well, anyway. honestly, you could actually put it back in the fridge and it'd be fine. Yeah. You know? So, like, let's say. Trouble change is like, oh yeah, you got so into it and you forgot, you know, to buy grain at the store. You just hit it and you're like, oh yeah, I'm ready to brew. Oh man, I don't have my recipe. It's okay. You can just throw it in the fridge. It's not gonna hurt anything, you know. Yep. Just throw exactly. it in there for a little bit. If you leave it out for a few days like that, then it may hurt something. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna eat up all their reserves, and then you're gonna need to either do a starter or something yeah. along those lines. But we we've seen and and used these packs after breaking them where they're so full that it seems like it's going to burst. I've only ever heard of one pack in the last 10 years actually exploding. Really? Yeah, one. Wow. And I don't know that I believe it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough story. Yeah. So, but yeah, this was 1098, so you know, maybe I'll do a cider or an IPA or something. Or yeah. Maybe I'll brew a Stone Ruination or something. Yeah, that'd be good. That's, that's supposed to be very similar to the stone strain their house strain so mm -hmm. so hopefully this video was way too long <laughs> for <laughs> what we demonstrated but uh we had a lot of fun making it yeah hopefully uh, i didn't offend anybody with all my different ways of not to break the pouch <laughs> yeah we're not making fun of anybody we're just uh yeah we're having, just having some fun, fun with it, so. so grab your favorite yeast get a brew on yeah, Weiss is the only one with these activator packs. Yes. Imperial, that... uh, White Labs, the ones that we carry, the dry yeast strings, they don't have um, activator packs in them. Weiss is the only one that I know that has a smack pack. Yep. And it, it's a great thing, and they're a great lab. So. Yeah, <laughs> grabbing your yeast, uh, your Imperial yeast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it makes you feel better, have at it. It's, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hurt them. All right, guys. Cheers, brew on, hit the bell if you're into it. If you have your own special way of opening a Y yeast pack, throw it in the comments section. <laughs> I, I wanna hear about it. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like fun. Awesome, guys. Cheers. Cheers, brew on. Brew on. Now we have to brew. What if the one I sold was that one? Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? It's like Space Jam, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it's in there too. Oh yeah. Everyone loves a little Bugs Bunny.
Hello, Brew Chatter. This is Archie.